the Residence Hall Association and Student Senate passed a resolution which expressed their approval for mixed gender suites. The mixed gender living situations would be available to all students living in the apartment style dorm of Chancellors and the future suite style dorms set to be built within the next year. Director of Housing and Residence Life, Chuck Major, said it's refreshing to see students involved with making changes for university housing and residence life. Personally, myself feeling that uh, uh, it would be an option that would be uh, probably beneficial for, for some students to be able to have that option if they so choose to do so. And uh, given the fact that we do have uh, at least one, one apartment style uh, building right now and hopefully uh, a suite style uh, uh, residence hall in the near future, uh, an option like that could be possible. The proposal of a mixed gender dorm aims to cater to students who are trans and may have a more fluid gender than strictly male or female. Chancellor's Hall Director Mackenzie Deffenbaugh said she supports the idea of having mixed genders in the dorm. I think it provides like a great opportunity for them to create different type of relationships and different dynamics in the building and 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 to show that it can happen because a lot of people move off campus when they want to live with an opposite gender or different types of genders. Students will have the option of living with roommates of a different gender. UW-Milwaukee and UW-La Crosse have implemented having mixed gender dorms this past fall. The only thing I'd worry about is if there was like a relationship issue that can complicate things and then you have people not knowing where they're going to be living because they're not going to want to keep living together. So that's the only way I can see it causing issues is if there's relationships involved. But other than that, I mean, if it's, if it's stable, if it's something like that, I don't see a problem. I feel like if it's a school-supplied housing, it's a horrible idea. Because the statistical chances of confrontation increase a lot from personal experience when you mix genders. And that puts the school at a liability, so I wouldn't do it if I was a school.